Sports Club Ultimate Jerk Center T20 Finals where we're speaking with um, Red Hill Spartan Captain the man called Chippers um, Gibraltar Royals won the toss and decided to bat just trying to get the views of Red Hill Spartan Skipper on the toss did you think it was a good toss to win or to lose? Uh, it's been a good toss to win you know because look like the like it's a good batting shot Okay, so with your team um, bowling first, what total are you looking to restrict this um, Gibraltar um, team to? Uh, anything around 100. That's where you're looking at? Yeah, anything from 90 to come down. Alright, your team possess um, one of the leading wicket takers in the tournament so far. Um, based on the fact that Gibraltar has scored 200 plus runs in their last two innings and they have chosen to bat. Um, what are the plans to, to restrict this Gibraltar uh, batting line? Uh, we're just going to bowl a decent line and let, and let them come of us and see if we can bungle them out. Alright, good luck. So now we have the, the Gibraltar uh, captain, <coughs> Mr. Romeo, who is coming, team has scored back to back. 200 plus totals in, in their last two games. They, you're here in the finals. Um, you have won the toss and decided to. Alright, so we're here at the Top Town Sports Club Ultimate Jerk Center T20 finals where we're speaking with um, Red Hill Spartan captain, the man called Chippers. Um, Gibraltar Royals won the toss and decided to bat. Just trying to get the views of Red Hill Spartan skipper on the toss. Did you think it was a good toss to win or to lose? Uh, it's been a good toss to win, you know, because look like the like is a good. Ever slick. Ever slick. Ever slick.
Come on, Chip. Chip, Chip, looking for a quick breakthrough. Oh, and this is good delivery. So, good start by Redil Spartan. This is the best bowling team in the tournament so far. Can they restrict Gibraltar? Oh, and this is good bowling. All right, good team. By see on me. See on me. Looking to pick up the pace of the wicket. So the score, one without loss. Oh, and that's in here. Oh, and that's a beautiful diving catch. And uh, come on, catch you. Gibraltar skipper has been dismissed for a duck. Oh God, man, you gonna reach every name, dive? Yeah. And if you knock them out of sight. So ready, Spartan. Already with a killer blow, dismissing the Gibraltar Royal skipper for a duck. So chip chip, climbing up, climbing up the ladder in the leading wicket taker battle so far. So chip chip once more, looking for a second wicket in the over. Oh, and this is good delivery, stroke down to long on. So after bowling a wide. Chip Chip has come back with a discipline opening. Oh, and that's another swinging delivery. So Chip Chip using the overcast condition, getting some inward movement. So that was a good first over. So the score is one for one. Game start, game start, you know. <laughs> make him unfit, you know, man. <laughs> so the man at the crease now is the hard hitting batsman Carlos who smashed a quick fire half century in the semi finals. Yeah, well, man. Match start, man. Can he repeat that All right, cool. brilliant performance? So we have Pops up to Carlos. Where are you? Oh, and that was edged away. Oh, and that's brilliant feeling. Yo, look at the running one. I said, I don't know. So, Gibraltar don't Royal starting a little bit slowly with Reddings in the front seat so far. And that's in the air. And it's in the air. Oh, and Carlos is back in the front line. Is the pressure of the final getting to Gibraltar? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I it. So Gibraltar, after choosing to take first strike, is in a bit of trouble with two of their leading batters back in the pavilion for an egg. <laughs> so ready the Spartan this morning start their their practice from 5 a.m. The, the entire Come on so once more, chip chip looking for a quick breakthrough. Oh and this is good delivery. So good start by Ready Spartan. This is the best bowling team in the tournament so far. Can they restrict Gibraltar? Oh, and this is good bowling. All good right, team. By see on me. See on me. Looking to pick up the pace of the wicket. So the score, one without loss. Oh, and that's in here. Oh, and that's a beautiful diving catch. And uh, come on, catch you. Gibraltar skipper has been dismissed 
for a duck. Oh God, man, you gonna reach every minute, dive. Yeah. And even knock them out of sight. So ready and Spartan, already with a killer blow, dismissing the Gibraltar Royal skipper for a duck. So chip chip, climbing up, climbing up the ladder in the leading wicket taker battle so far. So chip chip once more, looking for a second wicket in the over. Oh, and this is good delivery, stroke down to Langan. So after bowling a wide. Chip Chip has come back with a discipline opening. Oh, that's another swinging delivery. So Chip Chip using the overcast condition, getting some inward movement. So that was a good first over. So the score is one for one. Game start, game start. Yeah. <laughs> make him unfit, you know, man. <laughs> so the man at the crease now is the hard hitting batsman Carlos who smash a quick fire half century in the semi finals. Yeah, well Can he repeat that All right, cool. brilliant performance? So we have Pops up to Carlos. Where are you? Oh, and that was edged away. Oh, and that's brilliant feeling. Yo, look at the running one. I saw the one. So, no Gibraltar Royal starting a little bit slowly with Reddings in the front seat so far. And that's in the air. And it's in the air. Oh, and Carlos is back in the pocket. Is the pressure of the final getting to Gibraltar Royals? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I am about to go mash them up and go away. So Gibraltar, after choosing to take first strike, is in a bit of trouble with two of their leading batters back in the pavilion for an egg. <laughs> so ready and Spartan this morning start their their practice from 5 a.m. The, the entire team was put through a severe fitness drill by Chop Chop. <laughs> Few players pulling up injury, Popeye and Jason. <laughs> So will it pay off with Pops up to bowl to the master batsman Gregory now? Oh, that's a good off spinning but, delivery but. and Gregory has missed out on it. So the score is two wickets for one runs and we are into over number two. And that's in the air. Will it be taken? And it's another duck. <laughs> yeah, I believe on so it. At the moment, <laughs> have Gibraltar Royal pin down at the top down multi purpose stadium wharf. What is that mean, man? What is that mean? I can't believe what's so going on. So the score is three wicket for one run. Look up Yeah, I believe. Chris, sir, now come back now, yeah? Now come back now. Just stay out there, man. Watch out! Next! 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 Lord of mercy you now. See ya. So we have the batsman called Christopher Columbus on the crease. So, Pops, the man who 
Yeah. Oh, that's a good delivery. Hey, look, you know. So Pops bowling some serious half spinning delivery. Hey, look, you know. Every now and then slipping in the, the doos rock. <laughs> Can Christopher Columbus discover some runs? Oh, yes. that's a brilliant shot. And that was smashed through yeah. like half a four. All right, Christopher. Yeah. We want cassava dumpling tonight. All right. So the score moves up to five. Five for three. <laughs> In over number three. <laughs> So Chup Chup looking to make further inroads into the Gibraltar Royals batting lineup. So the, the peer at the crease is Christopher Columbus, the man brought back from history, along with Alex Holmes. Can they recover? Oh, and this is good bowling. You could see Gibraltar Royals under a bit of pressure. With the Red Hill Spartan team fresh from a long training session this morning. It's a good sharp delivery outside our stump. So Chip Chip <laughs> said in the pretty much interview that they're looking to bowl out this Gibraltar team for under a hundred. Oh, and that's a beautiful delivery. Baka for length, beating Alex Holmes all ends up. So Oh, and that's another catch. Oh, and a brilliant diving catch by Super Pops. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Man, I feel good. I dare that the man them plan for. Feel good, man. I hit them plan for. They set them pitch. So. Yeah. Red Hill Spartan living up to their tag in the tournament. They are one of the best bowling unit in the tournament. And they have Gibraltar Royals struggling at 5 for 4 in over number 3. Yeah, I believe this. It's 4. Man, I lick one four runs, man, and then wild. Four ducks. Four ducks. Can't believe this. Ah! Yo! A zing bag when you play for So the man at the crease. A zing bag from Pakistan. The man called Inziman Hul Hak. A zing bag when you play for. One of the big money signing from Gibraltar Royals. Can they dig Gibraltar Royals out of this deep hole? At the crease with him is the man called Christopher Columbus. So the score is five for four. The batsman dismisses Gregory for a duck. Romeo for a duck. Carlos for a duck. And Holmes also for a duck. Chicken, uh. Uh, a good news, eh, Roman? Yes, good yes, news, man. Yes, sure, <laughs> hearted man. A bad news, man. <laughs> no, man, I'm not your castle, man. No, man. Let us have got my team now. Come on, struggle and cut a red. Stay out there. So, we are into over number four with Pops already picking up two wickets. Yeah. Why well, the man them plan, yeah, sir? Man yeah, man. I want to man. Plan for battle. He, he set up it up. Yes, man. Oh, and that's a wide deal to start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man.
Yes, this is Yes, this is man. You will have the best man. You will have the Yes, sir. Yes, Christopher, a cassava tonight. So, can Christopher Columbus play a blinder? Oh, and that's a good comeback by Pops. So, Pops getting some sharp turn from just outside the off stump. Man called Super Fox sporting his soldier cap turned back way. Up to ball to. Oh, and that's a good shot delivery under the nostril of Christopher Columbus. Oh, so this good start by Super Fox using all his experience. This is the man with 400 and had first class wicket to his name. Looking to make for the in road. So we have Super Fox up to ball to Christopher Columbus. Oh, and that's a beautiful delivery. Swinging delivery by Super Fox. So Fox sponsored by Camouflage. Up to ball to Christopher Columbus. Watch him now. Watch him. Oh, and that's brilliant bowling by Fox using the overcast condition to get the ball to be swinging all over the place <laughs> so super fox once more looking for a maiden oh and that's another good delivery so the score is 43 for four and we are into over number six So Super Fox with 15 years of experience behind him. Oh, and that was smash! That was a brilliant shot by Christopher Columbus. <laughs> so far, that is the shot of the afternoon. It's gonna need some taking to beat that stroke. That was hit like a trace of bullet. You could see it cutting the grass into the long off boundary for four. So Christopher Columbus, after being brought back from history by Romeo, look motivated today. So, Inziman Hulhak from Lahore, Pakistan. Oh, and this is good batting. Yes, yes, yes. So, this is a big rivalry with Gibraltar Royals, knowing that this is the spirit top seamer in the tournament so far. Looking for a breakthrough now. Oh, and that's a good delivery. Whoa, check, check. Whoa, mode. So that was a swimming full and delivery by Chappers. So we want to big up our title sponsor, Ultimate Jerk Center, along with Everslip Media, Richie Rich Kitchen. Oh, and this is good bowling. Oh, and that was edge away. Two turn one for four. So the score moves on to 51 for four. Ivan now come by the field. And we're into over number seven. Oh, and that's good bowling. Yes, sure. That was a quick yakalet delivery. I bang at the 
Unleash your flavor, man. Bravo, Donna Rob. Ball did a man, ball did a man. Ball did a man. I get me a hit for him. I run here, he run for every kitchen, but he takes you still. So we're <laughs> now starting over number eight, 51 for four. Gibraltar Royals fighting back. Oh, this is good bowling by Pops. So Pops into his third over after being smashed for 18 in his previous over by Christopher Columbus. He has changed hands. What will happen now? Watch him now. Columbus, watch him. We need your incident. Oh, this is good bowling. Oh, and, it's, and it's a beautiful single. So it's important to rotate the strike. He <laughs> can't glimpse him, man. He may glimpse him, man. He may glimpse it, man. Yes, he Oh, that's a that French cut. Right. Into the boundary for four. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah, 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 man. Off spinning delivery. So Pop starts in that one up. You could see the eyes of Inziman lit up just now. But it was a super delivery. So Strogi dismissed for 20. That was a beautifully flighted delivery. Stop them lean, Mister. Stop them lean, Mister. I can't make him ball drop. I ball long come fast. So pops, so far leading Ricky Taker in the tournament, going head to head with Chippers for that prize. He already have three wickets to his name. So the batsman at the crease now is the man called Smash Dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good bowling. What's so them bowling? Some the deliveries to turn. Watch them ball With the Gibraltar batsman struggling. So the total is 56 for 5. Can Gibraltar Royals get up to a respectable total? So Williams up to Christopher. Oh, and he's clean ball. Why another swing and delivery? Yeah, man, a four man edge. Edge. Yeah, man, edge, man. I'm going to lick it up. So ready to spark him. Oh, oh, oh. Umpire, so why it's still? Yeah, man, not sure. So, Williams with another strike. So, the total is 57 for six. Yes, yes. Swallow him, cat. 
smash cat. Smash dog. Hmm. So we have yeah, the yeah, yeah, Jeb, Jeb, yeah, Jeb, smash Jeb, 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 smash cat. Jeb, 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 Oh, and this is good bowling by Williams. So as I stated earlier, we got some news that Chep Chep had his bowling unit training from 5 a.m. this morning into the, in the mountains. And it's paying off right now. Oh, and that's smash. Come on, Mr. Lowe, why not? I think you got straight in, man. I'm full, full sleep. I think you got straight in, make it down. So Williams. I mean, chat put in it. So Williams once more up to smash cap. Yeah, yeah. It's a brilliant shot. Out to deep mid wicket for a single. Man, I feel good. Eh? Mm. Oh God, man. You know? Yeah, man. Man, I feel good. Really. Yeah, man. They set. Yeah. The man them set, boy. I mean, I know. They set, man. So this is good. Man them set. Brilliant field set by Chep Chep. And the bowlers are bowling to their fields. <laughs> so the score is 58 for 6. So Chip Chip has turned back to Super Fox. The man sponsored by Camouflage. So it's Super Fox up to Smash Cat. Oh, and this is good bowling by. It's good bowling by Super Fox. So we have the, the Smash Twins out there, Smash Dog and Smash Cat. <laughs> Can they bring Gibraltar Royals above the 100 total? Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's a good delivery. Mm -hmm. is now With Cat swinging yeah. for Cedric Titus. <laughs> Computer room. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> So now we're gonna turn over to a resident. So we have Juggins, MC Juggins Stout in the building. Oh, that was hit like a trace of bullets. And Chippers. Yo. Yo. And of course, Yo. Smash Cat smashing. Yo. We have. Cats and dog at the crease smashing. And Chep Chep saved a bunch and disappointed he didn't hold on to the catch. Yes, man. This bowler comes up and bowls the catch. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. That's a wise statement by the captain. But there's a back it up. No, no back up. So MC Javan Stout Ready Spartan living up to their billing as the best bowling unit so far at one stage Gibraltar was five for four and of course these two teams have one of the best bowling attack we've seen in the competition so far. Yeah man, true man. Of course. Boy. Aye. Yam. We could keep a yam. Smash dog and cat. Yo. Smash dog, can't see ball. First, can't see ball. Back in history, cat and dog. We're never friends. Dog, make your shot when you see it. Yeah. You know, we have a smash cat and smash dog at the crease. Gibraltar Royals. Trying to pose. A competitive total. Yeah, man. Take a one. We now start over number 10 for the Gibraltar Royals innings. Score still remain on 59 for 6. 
A smash cat. Watch it. Watch that man. He come back. Now he done. Keep on that table too. What about what about it? Stomp him. As Yam smiling. Two pounds of Yam was his transfer fee. That's how he inherited the name Yam. Oh, what is Barry? The washing machine bad man. The washing machine bad Barry man. Of course, want to pick up one of our sponsors, Ultimate Jerk Center. And Everstick as well. Who has been consistent with live coverage here at... We need something for our owner, you know? Take on the time. Take on the time, man. And Rich and Rich Kitchen. Of course, Gibraltar team filled with confidence after defeating Top Town All Stars. Hoping they can restrict Red Hills. And that's a wide. Let's bring it down. Let's bring it right down. Of course, Yam with a track record of getting hit. Yam comes up and bows to it. Smash Cat. Yes. No, no. Smash cat. Yeah. Yeah. So the man after the cross, we're going to tell them why later, you know. Gerard. 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 Fox versus Dog is a, uh, as Fox comes up. Fox seemed a bit scared of Smash Dog. Fox and Dog are no friends. <laughs> They're never friends. That's a huge rivalry at the crease. For just for those who are just joining in, we also have the Top Town Sports Club Bar. Yes, and that's a brilliant hit. And that's where the rivalry starts. And it continues. As Smash Dog smashes Fox for six. Fox Terrier. Chep Chep, the captain. We need runs, Chep Chep. Chep. We need runs, Chep Chep. We need runs. As cunning as a fox comes up and bows to Smash Dog. Smash Dog was hoping to smash him again. They're now at. 67 for 6. Here we go. Fox comes up and bows to Smash Dog. And here we go. Fox trying to take one of the. trying to break the partnership. And that's another hit. That's maximum. Smash Dog continues to smash Fox all over the ground. That's 12 runs. Watch him. Watch him. And that's another wide signal by the umpire. A correction to the overs. Score now announces that the over is going to over number 12. It's now 73 for 6. As Fox comes up and bows to Smash Dog, that's a brilliant delivery. Went back into the batsman. Pinned down into the innings. And that's another hit. That's into tier two of the wild side stand. As Fox unleashes sugar and smash dog. Smashes. That's the remedy for the uh, uh, sugar. Don't jump the money, my son. It's now 79 for six after over number 12. They're pretty much traveling over six and over, but that's not enough. Wickets are not on their side. Of course, Waterboy Inzaman. 
We have uh, in our midst today in the VIP stand after recovering from injury, which prevents him from playing with the top tone all star. Now, new bowler from the Pompo Sen or the co passer stand is Williams as he comes up and bows to Smash Cat. Trying to smash him. If that was connect, it would have reached the pump house. The amount of muscle and strength that was put into that swing. As Williams comes up and bows to Smash Cat. Another swing and a miss. Captain Chep Chep. Chep Chep, we know, dedicated to his sports. Had his team from 5 a.m. in the mountains training, and that was a gift. And of course, it's poor through the gap. The score moves on to 83. Cat trying to imitate dog. A smash cat. And here we go. Williams comes up and bows the cat. Some of the swing and a miss from Smash Cat. Watch our runs, Fry Now Cat. Watch our runs today. What a good day today. Watch your ball and watch your spectator. But how you can bat, yes, sir. Yes, we can get a good now. What I took it here. Yes, another hit. Feel on to the ball. There's a chance for a run out. Brilliant piece of feeling by the youngster from Red Hills. A lot of yam was. Jason, I I of course. Yes, it Pops. Watch him, cat. Pops comes up and bows. Smash cat. That's a gift. And there's a chance, and it really goes all the way. He's the fielder. That's a welcome boundary for Gibraltar Royals as the score moves on to 88 for six. Pops comes up and bows his cat. That's the reverse. That's the shot up innings. Oh my goodness, they didn't get four for it. That's beautiful, unorthodox reverse sweep from Smash Cat. Down the track. And it's smashed away into the fall pen stand for six. And of course, the leading wicket taker pops. What's his response to that six that went for 120 meters? As Pops comes up and bows the Smash Cat who's down the track. It was a chance for Stump. And Yam attempted to stump Smash Cat and the Bears didn't dance. What kind of cricket are we witnessing? As Yam tried to stump Cat. As Pops comes up and bows the Cat. And he's holding. And that's a brilliant delivery from Pops. Another wicket for him. And Smash Cat, after smashing him, he smashes his thumb. He's back to the pavilion. That's the seventh wicket down for Gibraltar. And here is another strong youngster, one of top tone reject. Eyeball, the younger brother of Vice Captain Bravo. So far as Pops comes up and bows to Yai. Yai. Of course, looking a bit shaky at the crease. Yai, who goes by the name of Eyeball. So far, Pops at the end of his fourth over, four for 35. Brilliant piece of bowling from him. The captain doesn't mind the runs because he's a wicket taker. And of course, we've witnessed the cricket falling off Smash Cat. 
he was giving the bowler all the stumps to aim at and he was bowled that was so accurate as Chep Chep comes up and bowls the smash dog Chep Chep after having his team out from 5am training comes up and bows the smash dog we're into over number 15 of the innings smash dog not paying chep chep any attention he's just waiting for a bad delivery as chep chep turns comes up and bows the smash dog and it's in the air it should be taken is it gonna be taken and he does take the catch and that's another wicket And that's another wicket for. I've got paid for that sign here. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> that's it. Let me see. Richard. 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 And of course, in the commentary area, we have. We have to say, Bravo. Bravo. Are you disappointed in the total so far? Gibraltar has put on four radios to face. Well, to be honest, in the pre match interview, Gibraltar Royal skipper stated that they're looking to put on 250 plus on the board. So far, they're struggling to make a hundred. Yes, it's very disappointing. We thought we would have seen a finals where there would be a lot of runs to get for the team batting second. And of course, the brothers at the crease, Mack and Yaibal Rasta. Puss in boot. As Rasta to face his first delivery. Has a track record for plenty of ducks. He survived his first between, delivery. Between he's, he's on four consecutive ducks. And of course, Rasta. Come on, Rasta. The for the amount of duck. ducks. You know what? No duck periods. No, sir. As Strip Chip turns, comes up and bows to Rasta. I'm afraid of Rasta. I'm afraid of you. Rasta mannequin. Of course, Chef Chef fear Rasta's butt. But red in blood and sweat. As Chef Chef turns, comes up and bows to Rasta. Rasta. Come on, Rasta. Come on, Rasta. Come on, Rasta. Close to the edge. Outside edge. Yam smiling. The bowler fired up for this. Yeah, man, 95 for 8 with lots of overs to go through I'm sure Gibraltar would want to bat through the inning as Chef Chef comes up and bows to Rasta run, run, run. is there a chance for a run out? He's trying to get off the mark. Yeah, Rasta is still on duck. You ever done or no? Yeah, thank you. Come back one again. As Bravo. Yeah. Bravo, brothers. The top tone reject. On this Gibraltar team, I'm sure they will fancy their bowling attack against Redhill's Spartans. So one thing we know about finals, runs on the board, it's already there. So a total of 110 can be competitive. We are now approaching over number 17. We are now approaching over number 16, sorry. As Chep Chep bowled his final over. <coughs> And also Pops, captain now focusing on setting his field. And of course we have uh, <laughs> in our midst. <laughs> in yeah, the job, uh, clean them up. And the Yam club, you know? about mm. to bowl. Is he gonna give Yai with a renter delivery? Let's find out. Him, As Yam comes up and bows to Yai. Come on, Yai! Come on, Yai! Saved by the toe. Yeah, man, use the job. And Yam comes up and bows the Yai. 
That's a white signal by the umpire. Yes. Come on, your yeah, ball! Come on, your yeah, ball! Larun not wanting to give away any sweet yam. As Yam comes up and ball to Yai Ball, that's a brilliant yeah, ball, six, six, man. 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 Six, <laughs> I mean, I want it, a small interview from Rasta, who was very nervous. Rasta, still not good, man. We'll take it out by the ball, you know. Yes, we all know you have the record for the consecutive ducks on this ground, right across from your house. Are you not training well on it, or are you just the bowling type? I'm just the bowling type still. I'm just the bowler. So I'll just I'll get to, 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 to the bowling right now. Rusty is sound a bit nervous. Are you going to be nervous for the run chase or you think you can restrict Reddins? No, we can't beat Reddins, man. That the runs they can't make it, man. All right, Rasta. Good luck in your bowling. Yes, sir. Of course, Rasta, who now holds the record for the amount of ducks. For the second innings, that's Come on, I tell me, I tell you, you go cast you, man. No, man, no problem, man. You can't go cast you, man. No, man, no, man. What do you say, man? What do you want one right now? What do you want right from you, right? Yeah, man, man. You need so good. And then see the lock up, you know? You know so. As the I2 open the bowling attack comes up the ball. Be real, man. And that's through the gap. What? Come on, Carlos, man. I can't make that pass. Very first delivery. Going for a boundary. As DJ distance. First ball to Rati. Yeah, man, yeah. Smashed away for four <laughs> of his first delivery. Richie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Timey and Chep Chep opening the innings. In the man, the wicket keeper today. As the eye comes up and bows to. That's a wide signal by the umpire. That's a wide signal by the umpire. Brilliant piece of ball respond by Yai. DJ distant. First ball to Rat. Go for four. This is OC. I see match on final. Wait, yeah, it comes up and bows to the timing that? again. How's that? I see it now, more nice. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. So far, Gibra Reddy's chasing Gibraltar's total are at six without loss. Oh, come back. Come back, As the eye comes up and bows to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, time he has all the time in the world because he's already got the required amount from the first over. <laughs> time, time, they're not a timing, they're not a timing. Now smash cat to pull the second <laughs> over. This is the way you would like to take. Be a fire, no? Chep Chep. Come on, Chepas! Chep Chep batting sensibly. Of course, the man who holds the bat. Not even plain blade. Watch out. In a stylish fashion. As if he's teeing off. Come on, what was that done? See him, we're upon him. Smash Cat comes up and 
towards the check check. See, I'm way in can't touch him. Not out, says the umpire. And Smash Cat comes up and bows the chep chep. Who is under a bit of pressure. <laughs> yeah, no, no time. See that? Yeah, man, not touch none. Not touch none. Putting on a bit of pressure. As Bashka comes up and bows to Chep Chep. No, no tight side. The score remains six without loss. Seven, sorry, just away from the over. Brilliant over from Smash Cat. Just a wicket would be would be better. We also have Labens by the finals. Labens looking for a transfer to the Red Hills team. There's a chance for a run out by Carlos. Fling by a long time. Brilliant yeah, piece of batting timing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Continues. As Yai comes up and bows to Chep Chep. Yeah. And that's a brilliant yeah. hit. That's four runs. Young Holmes tried to prevent the boundary. And that's another wide by Yai. Chip, chip, punch you good, huh? Yeah, man. Stop on the bar, stop on the arm. It's now 13 without loss. We're into over number three. As Yai comes up and bows to Chep Chep. Yes, Yai ball. Put it by him. See him where. See him where, Yai ball. Of course, Coach Nayoka. Yeah. As Yai. As Smash Cat. We also have some developing stories surrounding the scheme team. Labens looking for a move as sending his transfer request. I'm wondering how many pounds of Yam Reddles would have to pay scheme. <laughs> That's a brilliant delivery from Smash Cat. Trying to take the edge of Timey. Timey's bat. As Smash Cat comes up and bows to Timey, it's in the air. Is he going to be taken? Come on, Rasta, man. Oh, Rasta, that was Rasta. a chance. Jesus God. And Rasta. Rasta, Pussy man, boot. Yes, yeah. Cats are not big yeah, pans yeah, of yeah. water and there are lots of water on the grass. Oh, Rasta seemed a bit disappointed. That's the breakthrough Gibraltar would have hoped for. But God. the chance has come and gone. As we're into over number four. Rasta jump the catch over. And is it going to be another maiden over from Smash Cat? As he comes up and bows the timing. Mm -mm. That's almost. And at the end of the over. One run from the over. 13.
seen without loss. Chip Chip still not off the mark as Smash Dog comes up and bows to Chip Chip. And that's four on signal by the umpire. Gibraltar's fielders seemed a bit down as. Red is trying to get this 96 to win very fast. As we now enter over number five. Uh, Smash Dog comes up and bows to Chip Chip. That's, that's an unorthodox swing. And that's six runs. Why something did blind the to 23 with our loss. A smash down comes up and goes to Chip Chip. That's another hit. That's six more. Of course. <laughs> it's now 29 with our loss. A smash down comes up and goes to Chip Chip. That's cut. Brilliant feeling by Carlos to prevent the boundary. Score remains on 29 without loss. We're into over number five. <laughs> and at the end of over number five, the score is now 29 without loss. Radius as Reno summon his third bowler. Was a loss. Was a loss. Have to do something. That's in the air. Is he going to be taken? Is it taken? He jumps the catch. Comes up and bows to Chip Chip. Chip Chip. Of course, Chip Chip but insensibly. He knows he has a lot of deliveries and the runs are not much. Trying to establish himself at the crease. As Mark comes up and bows to Chip Chip. That's like teeing off on a par four. Yo, ball, 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 ball. That's another six from Chep Chep. <laughs> and of course, it's now 36 without loss. What? Yes. And that's in the air. Is it going to be taken? It's another six. Radius continues to drown in Gibraltar sugar. <laughs> That's another six. <laughs> and smash now comes up and bows to Timey. We have. And that's. Umpire, how did 
And of course, only the keeper was animated for a catch. That's the first time he has caught one of the deliveries behind the stumps. He seemed a bit happy with himself for that achievement. Umpire signal not out. And that's a brilliant. Oh, that's a brilliant delivery. That's a shot. Tell me something now. That's man. very hot. Yeah, he tried to jump out of it as if he's in fire. Brilliant shot by Chep Chep. <laughs> of course, they were training from 5 a.m. As Gregor comes up. Is it gonna be a, another four? Is it? Of course, you're brought to the one ever. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Mm. comes up and fling. That's a brilliant delivery. That's timing. Knew nothing about it. His timing was off. Even uh, was amazed by that delivery. Jibata was fired up on the semi-finals and went cold feet no, in the eh. final as Gregory comes up and moves to time it. Is in the air, is it a catch? As umpire says, not out. No, sir. They left him, man. They only left him. Can't you win? Can't you win, man? Turn Gregory to the thing. goes to time it. No, I'm not saying in the fall before. <laughs> oh, God. As Gregor comes up and bows to Timey. That's a wise signal by the umpire. I noticed since Inzaman started catching the deliveries, each one he catch, he appeals far out. Umpire not interested. Score moves on to 48 without loss. Can't believe. Karate. <laughs> yeah man, yeah. Yeah man. After the final everybody go get an interview. No nah, man, you have to talk man. You have to talk. Yeah man, you have to say something. You have to say something. Yeah, and it's another six. The six continues to rain for Chep Chep. Bye, bro. Bye. And Christopher Columbus trying to discover wickets for Gibraltar as he comes. What the hell? And that's another shot. That's four more. The score moves out to 58. Stop the noise, man. Without loss. 
As Christopher comes up and bows to Chep Chep. Mm-hmm. One more attempt. Lucky. Alright, me I say, but it's too late now. Score moves on to 59 without yeah. loss. Alright, me I say. Gibraltar traveling. Red is traveling very steadily. Sure. Yeah, go down to the it needs to be tried. Yeah. Sure. He's bowling. Unbelievable. And of course, he was summoned to discover wickets. And he did so successfully. Christopher Columbus. Everything I do. Chip Bales were flattered by Christopher. And now we have Yam at the crease. Alright, Yam and Cassava meet up. Time to lick him out. There's a bounty on Yam's head to make a duck. Smash dog to resume bowling. <laughs> and of course, heading into the finals, Red Hills were favorite. They still are on course for their victory. 59 for one. As Smash dog comes up and bows to Timey. <laughs> this will be some collapse of a batting inning. <laughs> Smash that comes up and bows to Timey. That's a brilliant hit. <laughs> 36 required by Reddills. There's Yam. Yam still yet to get off the mark. Go up to one half with a game one. <laughs> <laughs> a game one, a two and a half. A two and a half, you go up one, you go up one. <laughs> In the VIP stand, we have the entire group. Bravo. We have the entire group of death. The Hyde cricketers, the top tone all stars, and the schemers. <laughs> no, one at a time, not balls. Sifling with it. And of course, it's a free hit. 
Free hit signal by the umpire. This is what Yam will be gracing for. As Christopher comes up and bows to Yam. Fans, calm down, calm down, he's not out. We got to free it. We got to free it. As it's a free hit. Nayoka animated. <laughs> As Christopher Columbus comes up and boasts the Yam again. Yam look a bit nervous. He was part of the Hyde Derby. <laughs> Between Hyde Blasters and Gibraltar Royals. One ball and one free it. As Christopher comes up and bows the Yam. And it's a wild come on, signal come on, by the show, umpire. Come on, stand up. As Christopher Columbus. Yam trying to get off the mark. He is very nervous. <laughs> Still not able to get off the mark. Score remains on 63. And a white signal by the umpire. As Christopher comes up and bows to Yam. Yam still not able to get off the mark. The man who transferred for two pounds of Yam. Be able to And of course, we still have another finals to play between Hyde Blasters and Top Tone All Stars. We're into over number 12. As VIP stand as all the group of dead players, the Eye Blasters, Top Tone, All Stars, and Schemers Kings. Three, three of the favorites all went into one group and all were knocked out before the finals. Frozen. Smash Cat continues his impressive spell. He's so far there, the only run to get off Smash Cat is a wide. As Smash Cat comes up and bows to Timmy, there's a chance for a run out. And Gregory the misfield. And of course, Yam never wanted to go on strike to face Smash Cat. It's now 64. 65. Correction to the score 65 for one. Yam still not able to get off the mark. And this is the bowler who could take his wicket. A wide signal by the umpire. Only three runs so far from Smash Cat. Yeah, this is his I, I third over. He has bowled a maiden. Yeah, man, really his manager. So far, and there's a chance for Yam. As Christopher comes up and bows to Timey, Timey is struggling to get a hold of Christopher's deliveries. We're into over number 13. That's a brilliant stop from Smash Dog. The ball was traveling. As Christopher comes up and bows to Timey, there's a chance for a catch. 
Umpire says not out. <laughs> As Christopher comes up at Boston. Of course, we're looking on the team with the best bowling attack facing off in the finals, and you can see why. The stats are there to prove. Yam yeah, still not able to get off the mark. Yam so far has faced 26 deliveries. Unable to get a run on. It took, some, it took some nerves to get off the mark. In our midst, someone from the Middle East. We're not accustomed to those languages. Leg before. <laughs> leg before. Yeah, leg, leg, leg before, man. <laughs> Timing. A bit nervous. It's now 68 for one. Look at hey. And there's a chance for a That's a brilliant shot. And that's six runs. It's now 74 for one. And Mashkat has bowled his four overs. None for eight. That's very economical for Gibraltar. But the rest of the bowlers. And that's a wide signal by the umpire. And that's six more for Yam. We are we have more of the schemas joining. <laughs> the schemas showing up more and more in the VIP stand. And that's Yam. After getting off the mark, Yam continues to bat with intentions. It's now 86 for one. Watch don't quick. Yeah, man. Ten runs required, and it's in the air, Rasta gazing. Rasta was a bit distracted. The spirit of game are dead. The VIP stand filled with a group of death players. Hide blasters, top down, all stars. And that's four no runs. Let's go over the boundary by the Gibraltar's captain. Six runs required. This is a disappointing finals because we thought Gibraltar would have posed a total of over 150 or more. That would be a very good total to defend. But instead, they were restricted for 95. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to conjure that. I didn't drop him. This Gibraltar's consistency yeah, is like West Indies. As Yai comes up and bows to Tiny. Are you in your task? Eh? 
And that's four run. So no, it doesn't get there. It's, it dies before reaching the boundary. Yeah. And Yama, of course, after getting off the mark. Ready, Zabat. He's very calm. By score. Five to win. Five to win. So 90 then. Score is 91 for one. Um, 89. Also. The Gibraltar. 91 with me. 91. Yeah, 91. Eh? One. Yeah, man. Then go in, then go in, man. Oh, then just go in. I want to give my man spirit, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course. All right, cool. Every time that language triggers, we're looking if there is a bomb threat because we're not accustomed to those languages here. That's like ISIS. The bomb squad is ready to look. There we go, it's another four runs. <laughs> the scores are now level. 95 apiece. 23 deliveries required to get one run. Will Christopher Columbus discover more rickets as Christopher comes up and bows to the batsman? And there's a chance for a victory. And of course, Gibraltar Royals. Up one by nine wickets. Who? Oh. Who oh, wins? Gibraltar win by nine wickets. Who? Oh. Gibraltar win by nine wickets. <laughs> That's what Gibraltar would have hoped for, but instead, it's Reddills. No, pretty tough. Man. <laughs> pretty tough. Jesse up there, man. But instead, it's Reddills who have won. So I go. How are you doing, Sir Charlie? How are you doing, Sir? The captain of Reddit's entire family. VIP standing up. The game. What about this somewhere? Because some liquor they drink, we don't understand what's going on. Not because of the final. If we could reject my name from Zona, they can't understand. Why not? I'm clapping. Jesus. Jesus. present the medals to our umpires throughout the series Gallo and Mr. Kadna Mr. Virga of course aka Gallo 
and Mr. Kadna. Of course, for their hard work in some hard and tough decision making throughout the series without the television review. Presenting those medals is one of our members of the sports club, Candy. As we first asked Mr. Gallo to go ahead and receive his medal. Mr. Virgo don't want to bend. <laughs> Next up is Mr. Kadna. At some point in matches, they had to make some tough decisions. And now, before we go deeper into the presentation, we ask the losing captain for the Gibraltar Royals, Reno, to step forward. Skipper. You won the toss and decided to bat first. We knew in your semi-final, the pitch favored your batting lineup, but you were facing a tougher bowling attack, one of the best, if not the best, bowling attack in this series. You thought you would have posed a total of 150 or more, and you were way off target. What do you think went wrong? All right, first of all, congrats to the winning team. Well done, Riddles. Um, our batting lineup feel wickedly bad. Four ducks. Hmm. And then two drop catch. We feel to cut off boundaries. And that's, we pay the price. Your super bowler, Smash Cat. He bowled his. Four overs for just eight runs, trying to restrict the batsmen of the Reddills. But the rest of the bowlers didn't follow his guide and leadership. What do you think about the bowling attack and your decision making in the field setup as well? Just defending a small total of 95 runs. Uh, no, no, honestly, uh, some of the bowlers, congrats, but. Um, uh, we bowl some bad balls, and uh, we also suffer, um, of course, badly. Yeah, but um, differently still, cricket is a game where today you're good, tomorrow you're shame. That's how cricket is. So, I mean, ball is round. You know what I mean? It's not every day you're going to have a good day. You know what I mean? I saw it go. Okay. And was it a team decision to bat first, or you thought you'd take on the pressure yourself? No, it's a team decision. Okay, good. And, you know, there will be another competition shortly. Where do you see this Gibraltar team in the near future? Um, we're pretty good, you know. All we have to do is come and play better. Simple. Get our act together, you know what I mean? Do more training if we can, because we have problems finding a place to train. Oh, I need and, and get better, you know what I mean? Like yeah, but we have a good team. It's, not, it's just because we know. feel today we're going to, you know, <laughs> drop our guard. No. We have a good team and we're ready for anything, man. It's just that... This is the way cricket goes. You have good time and bad time. The West Indies get all out for 41. With Lara and Gail on the side, you know they go. And they are the big guns. Yeah, I mean, the ball is round, man. And cricket is a game that will shame you. And of course, is it a psychological advantage for Red Hills against your team? Because you face them more than one occasion and yet to beat them. No, honestly, still, Red Hills is a good team. We're not going to take anything away from that. But today, we come with a mindset to win. But what happened is, you see, in the game of cricket, you never know what you're getting. You understand? And it's not that we can't bat, but the batting order fail. Okay. Congrats in your future endeavors, Skipper. And well tried, Gibraltar Royals. You made it to the finals, just not able to get over the finish line. At this time, we'll ask the winning skipper 
Chip, Chip, Chip us, Chip us, the undisputed Chip us, man. Skipper. Chip 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 Word came to the commentary area that at 5 a.m. your team into the mountains warming up, drilling for this game. So you Do you think it paid off? And who? Yeah, of course. We always get reaction ready and get the arms in contact, you know, so we're feeling it, not feeling feel it in our shoulder. So we just need to come out there, attack the stump and play good cricket. Of course, Yam, a.k.a. Laru, you got his service from Hide Blasters for those two pounds of Yam. Is it worth the two pounds of Yam you paid for his transfer fee? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it took him some time to get going. But when, he's, when he got off the mark, Quickly, he fired home his team in an advanced position towards the trophy. Are you pleased with his performance throughout the series? Yeah, he performed well, you know, because take nothing away from him. He really put in the hard work. He didn't pack in not getting the wicket, but he keep your own weight down. Yeah. And of course, you also have yourself and Pops as strike bowlers for Red Hills, one of the best bowling attack we have seen in the series. Getting rid of scheme in the semi-finals, dismantling Gibraltar for a mere 95 runs, not even 96. <laughs> what do you have to say about your bowling attack and the rest of the bowlers? In fact, Pops, your strike bowler. Yeah, we're going out there with our intention, you know, say, if they want the toss and go and bat for us, we're going to try to restrict them on less than 100. And uh, it paid off. Was it mind games leading up to the finals, or is it that your team went out there with intentions to win the trophy? Yeah, I come with comfort, you know. Uh, yeah. The two and one is already on it, so we tell them, say, they have to get hands grabber to come and pull the <laughs> <laughs> Seeing that Gibraltar defeated defending champion Stockton All Stars, who was one of the tournament favorites, advancing from the group of death, do you think Gibraltar would have posed more challenge into the finals than what you've seen today? No, cause against we're bowling, you know, we're not giving up, and we're not giving anything. We have to work hard for it. <laughs> well, skipper. Your bow, good bowling attack paid off. So, there were rumors spreading that La, um, La Benz will be transferring to your team. Are those rumors true or is it just rumors? <laughs> well, anyone who come can come in. I'm not turning down anyone. Right. Yeah. And you have more yam to provide the teams for the transfer fee. Come yeah, on, lots of yam. Lots of yam. Yam cannot done. <laughs> Okay, well, Skipper, once again, we want to congratulate your team and good luck in the future endeavors. That's the Skipper Chep Chep for Red Hills. Put a round of applause for him. Now, executing their plan, restricting Gibraltar Royals for less than 100, and it paid off. And so we want to present a small token to the leading bowler, Pops, from the Red Hills Spartans. He took four wickets into the finals to get his team on the way. Of course, Pops held his nerve. He took wickets and Chep Chep was jumping up and down. And the leading run scorer, none other than Romeo, the skipper of Gibraltar Royals. Yeah. 
118 runs made by the skipper of Gibraltar. And of course, Pops took 10 wickets. Good. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, we're now about to present the MVP prize. But before I do so, he is a leader. He leads in the department when it's needed, whether it's making runs or taking wicket, bowling from the front, putting pressure onto the opposing team, or, you know, rotating strike with his batsman leading. He's an opener and he's also the strike bowler. He's also the skipper for the Red Hills team. We want to give the MVP to Chep Chep for his great leadership and the character in the tournament. Yes, Chep has. Of course, Chep Chep took nine wickets, so Pops had to put on a show in the finals to beat his skipper. And he also made 65 runs and 38 runs. He contributed to the 96 his team made in the finals chasing Gibraltar's 95 to win. The most disciplined team is of course Gibraltar Royals. Captain leading from the front. His squad obey his command. Whoever was dropped on the bench stayed at the match and cheer on the team. Overs, they run through it quickly. And we want to commend Gibraltar for their hard work. And we're not done with the Gibraltar. It seemed as if they have won the finals, but unfortunately their 95 runs wasn't enough to get them the trophy. We want to ask the Gibraltar team to go into the front area over by the banner. We can see the disappointment in the Gibraltar's team face. Better luck next time. <laughs> the runners up trophy, of course, is sponsored by the Ultimate Jerk Center. <coughs> And finally, we see some smile on the skipper's face. The Gibraltar team, of course, with Smash Dog, Smash Cat, Christopher Columbus, Puss in Boots, in the man. Carlos Gregory. And that's after this presentation. Skipper Romeo receiving the cash prize for his team. The runners up prize that is. We now ask the champions, Red Hill Spartans, to make their way to the presentation area.
They were all favorites to win this tournament. So after this presentation, Skipper Romeo receiving the cash prize for his team. The runners up prize, that is. We now ask the champions, Red Hill Spartans, to make their way to the presentation area. They were all favorites to win this tournament. Gentlemen, with the inclusion of Yam, finally winning his trophy, he thought he deserved in the previous tournament, which we saw top down lifting. Yeah, man, what the trophy? A summary of the finals. And of course, Yam now holding the trophy high. Yeah, high, high. And the fox trying to. Also to the tournament, their dedication paid off, beating the Royals in the finals. <laughs> we now ask Yam to make his way to the presentation area. You were once a batsman of Hyde Gibraltar, in fact an all-rounder for Hyde Blasters and you thought your ambitions weren't met with that team so you decided to send in a transfer request and your captain was happy to sell you for two pounds of yam thinking your value was depreciated to the fact that you weren't performing. Do you think the two pounds of yam paid off seeing that you're now a champion and a part of this brilliant Red Hills team? Yes, it paid off really because if I was with the IFF team, I wouldn't be here right now celebrating with my team. Right? That is it. Not that, sir. No. No. <laughs> I want to yam. Yeah, if I was with the Eye Blasters team, I wouldn't be here with my team now, yeah. celebrating the champion shows there. <laughs> so, you're saying the transfer paid off, but today you were on 30, you faced 29 deliveries before you were able to get a single to get off the mark, but once you are off the mark, you got going. You seem to be a vital player and a key player for this Spartan side, batting at number three. Do you think it was well placed in the lineup by the captain himself, Chep Chep? Yes, it was well placed because he told me to go down there and stay there and lead the team to victory. So I just do that. I don't mean, man. And I just want to congratulate your team once again and uh, good luck in your future endeavors. Also, you'll be collecting the cash prize for your winning team, the Red Hill Spartans, Vice Captain Yam. One of the cheapest transfers and effective. Also goes by the name of Sellout Yam. We just want to big up, of course, our technicians, Richie Rich Kitching and Ever Slick. We also want to big up the Top Tone Sports Club for their tremendous work. Each and every member of the Top Tone Sports Club, from the president to the regular members. We want to big up our sponsors, also Ultimate Jerk Center and the ground staff for their tremendous work. Of course, we all know Jagger Boss 
he maintained the pitch and ensured that we have games even when it seemed as if the rain would have made it impossible we want to big up all our supporters the fans you made this possible also the teams participating whether they're from the group of death which becomes dead or the group which were the underdogs we've seen two of the teams here making it to the finals but the favorites won and of course in a week we will have top tone all-stars facing off with eye blasters in another finals which was pushed back due to the bad weather we were facing earlier on behalf of all the Comanche area of course it's me Dragon Stout saying peace out. How you mean Dragon Stout? Man, for real, man. <laughs>